In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a Facebook business page step by step and click by click using the very latest Facebook interface. And it starts now. With over 2 billion monthly active users, like it or not, Facebook is still the most popular social media channel in the world. This means if you run a business and haven't created a Facebook business page yet, you may be missing out on reaching new customers, which is a shame since setting up a business page on Facebook is totally free. If you don't know how, don't despair because in this tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to create a professional looking Facebook page for your business, just like this one, so you can promote your business online for free. Let's start by heading over to facebook.com. First things first, if you don't have a personal Facebook account, you're going to need to create one. You cannot create a Facebook business page without a personal account. If this is the case, just go ahead and set one up. I won't cover this here as it only takes a couple of minutes. Once you've set up a personal account or logged into an existing one, you will be redirected to your main Facebook feed from which you can create a Facebook business page. My screen currently displays the very latest Facebook interface. So if your screen looks more like this, it's because you're on the old classic Facebook version. If you are, you might want to watch my tutorial, which is based on the old version of Facebook. With this latest Facebook interface, there are two options you can use to start creating a business page. From the navigation menu on the left-hand side of your screen, click on page option. This is where you can access all the pages you have created, but since you haven't created anyone today, it should be empty. As you can see, I already have four. To create a new one, just click on the create a new page button. The other method is to simply click on the plus icon from the menu located on the top right hand side of your screen. Scroll down and click on page. Your screen should now be split in two sections. On the left hand side, you can see a number of fields you will need to fill in and in the middle of the screen is a mock-up of your Facebook business page which will update as you add your information. You also have the ability to toggle between a desktop and mobile view which will give you a clear idea as to what your page will look like once published on either device. Let's start with the first field, page name. This is where you should enter your business name. Today, I'm going to create a page for a fictitious local restaurant in London called The Italian Shack. So I'm just going to type The Italian Shack in there. In the next field, select the most suitable category that matches your business activity. You can select up to three categories if you feel it is suitable. In this case, I'm going to use restaurant, obviously. And I'm also going to add food delivery service because my fictitious restaurant also delivers food at your home. Finally, in the last field, add a brief business description of what your business does, including the services you provide. There is a 255 character limit, so don't go mad, but don't leave it blank. If you check the mockup of your page, you can now see it has been updated with your name, your category, and the small description. Once you're happy with your choices, just click on the Create a Page button on the bottom left of your screen. You should now have the option to add a profile photo and a cover photo to your page. Your profile photo is what will be displayed here. I recommend you use your company's logo as it is the picture that will show up in Facebook search results when people are looking for local businesses. Beware, the recommended size is 170 pixels by 170 pixels. But when you're trying to load an image of that size in there, you will get an error message telling you your pictures must be at least 180 pixels wide. You don't have to add a photo now as it is optional and you can add it later. However, I would thoroughly recommend you do. Here is a quick tip if you don't have a logo yet. Head over to canva.com. Canva is a free online design software you can use to create stunning graphics to promote your business. It uses drag and drop technology, which makes it super easy to use and requires no experience or digital know-how. It also has tons of predefined templates to choose from, which you can amend at will. You just need to create a free account using an email or a Facebook account. Once you've registered for a free account, click on Create a Design in the top right-hand side corner. Select Custom Design and set the dimension of your design to be 180 pixels by 180 pixels so it matches the exact requirement of a Facebook profile picture. 
Use the left hand side menu to search and modify free templates or photos or even bring your own picture and start playing with it until you're happy with what you've got. Once done, download it and save it. Then import it on your Facebook business page and voila, you can see the results on the mock-up. Let's now add a cover photo. The cover photo is the biggest image of your page and is your chance to impress visitors. The recommended size is 1640 pixels by 856 pixels. But once again, I recommend using Canva if you're after a professional look. This time, instead of choosing custom design, you can literally use the preset template. Just click on create a design and search for Facebook cover. Use existing templates, create your own design, then download your newly created cover. All you need to do is import it on your page. Your page should now start taking shape. Once you've completed this stage, just click on the save button on the bottom left corner. That's it. Your very own Facebook business page is all done, right? Mm, not so fast. Your page needs to be as complete as possible as it will help customers find you. And right now, we've only just added a couple of images and given it a name and a description. Let's step it up a bit. From the left hand side menu, click on the edit page info link. This will open the information control panel related to your page. From there, you will be able to add more details about your business. Your business name, the description and the category should already display in there because we've added them earlier. However, we are missing a username. The username is used to create a short link that is easily found in search, which can also be easily shared with people like this one. I recommend you use your business name as a username and avoid using spaces. If you get a message saying your page is not eligible, it's because you need to get at least 25 followers, which is something I'll show you how to get once your page is complete. Once you've picked a username, scroll down the page and add your business phone number, the preferred email address for your business, a web address for your website if you have one. Under location, add your business address. Don't worry if the map doesn't update at this stage as it will do later. If your business doesn't have a physical location, just tick the radio button build a map. This will typically apply to service area type of businesses such as plumbers and electricians. If this is your case, you can provide additional location details by clicking on the drop down next to it and select the option does your page travel to customers. There is also an option available for those of you whose businesses can provide goods or services online to their customers. If this is also applicable to you, just tick that box. For the Italian shack, we have a fixed address, so it's easy. The service area field is for those of you who deliver goods or provide services at their customer's home, which I have already mentioned, such as plumbers, electrician, food delivery, etc. In there, you can specify up to 10 areas your business is able to serve by adding towns, cities, regions, or neighborhood. A word of caution here, don't start adding areas or cities you don't serve hoping to get more customers. It may mislead potential customers, provide poor user experience overall, and be the source of poor customer ratings. Additionally, I don't believe the Facebook algorithm will be duped into believing that an electrician based in New York, for example, might be able to also cover Philadelphia. The next step is to add your opening hours. This is fairly self-explanatory, so I won't dwell on it. If the services you usually provide have been affected by COVID, for instance, you can be specific about the changes in services. Just tick the radio button right here and add the changes along with corresponding links if you have them. These temporary services can appear on your page in green. If you are operating as usual or are closed, just use one of the other two options available. You're also able to add information about how your business has been affected by COVID and redirect visitors to a relevant link on your website if you have a page that talks about it. It will show up in the form of a banner right at the top of the page. If you have a privacy policy, which you should have, you can add a link here and it will show in your About Us panel on your page. Depending on the country you live in, you may have to add further information in the Impressum field. If you sell product, add them in the next field. 
You are able to add further information about your business in the next field. There is plenty of room to be creative here as it can hold up to 10,000 characters. You can add an idea about the price range visitors can expect to pay if they do business with you. A currency symbol will be added to the About panel accordingly. Finally, you can also add links to your other social media accounts if you have any, which will also get displayed in your About panel. I know this sounds like a lot, but you just need to do this once and I believe it's important to have a page as complete as possible. All the information you've added to your page has been saved automatically, so let's now have a look at our final results. From the left hand side menu, click on Home. In the navigation bar, right below the profile picture, click on View as a Visitor. This will show you what the page looks like to your visitors. Pretty cool, right? We're almost there, but before your page is complete, there are a couple of more things you need to do. See this blue button right here that says Send Message? This is the default button currently set up for your page that will enable customers to get in touch with you as a business. If someone uses this button to send you a message, it will be sent to your Facebook page inbox. While this is great, it may not be the most practical option for your business and you might want to change it for something more suitable. Click on Exit view as in the top right hand side corner which will take you back to the edit mode of your page. Next to your profile picture, click on the add a button option. This will trigger a pop-up where you can choose which type of button you want on your page. There are many options to choose from so it's entirely up to you. In my case I'm going to choose the call now option and add my restaurant's phone number in there so anyone tapping on this button will automatically trigger a call to my fictitious restaurant, which is pretty cool. The last thing you want to do is invite people to like your page, because a page with zero followers doesn't look very good. The best way to start getting page likes is to invite your friends. If you're still in the view as visitor mode, exit from it and go back to the page editing screen. You can invite individual friends from the panel on the left hand side of your page, but if you want to speed up the process, just click on See All Friends, select All and click on Send Invite. Remember, at the beginning of the video, I told you how I would show you how to get 25 followers so you can create a username for your business page. This is exactly how to do it. Once 25 of your friends have liked your page, you will be able to create a username for it. Congratulations! Your page is now complete and you're ready to go and publish your very first posts. That's it for today. If you follow this tutorial correctly, you should by now have a professional looking Facebook page, which hopefully will help you attract more customers. As always, if you have any questions, post them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. And until next time, happy marketing.